Hey everyone, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum sala. What's going on? Um, I have a question here uh, that I was asked, and I'm gonna put it as a question. Well, I'm gonna start it off as a question. The question is, do I have to go to Cuba to get initiated? In other words, do I have to travel to Cuba to get in Kimba to get scratch? Um, my answer is you can if you find uh, a tata over there that's rep you know respectable reputable has a good uh, rapport you know he has a good report of him he's well uh, rounded in what he does and respected uh, you can go over there um now the question is, after you go over there to Cuba, right? And you go through your initiation and all that, how are you gonna be able to interact, interact with that Tata and Yaya? Or let's just say Tata. How are you gonna be able to learn? How is he gonna teach you if you're not around there? So that, for me, that is one reason why I would have not went to Cuba. Just because of that, because of the difficulty I'm gonna have of being able to go to Cuba and staying there for a certain amount of time to learn, you know, things about the tradition and, and whatnot. Now, there's another question that was put really not a question it was more like um if you're not cuban um i'm not gonna get scratched with anybody else meaning that if you don't come from cuba then and you come from any other nationality then your your priesthood doesn't mean anything you know they don't respect you as good or as good as someone that's from Cuba. I don't have anything against any nationality, um, custom or creed, um, people, and I respect everyone and everybody. But to me, that is a foolish way of thinking about it and going about it, about it. There's just as good or better tatas here in the United States, whether they're Mexican, whether they're Puerto Rican, Cuban, Jamaican, African American, um, Venezuelan, Colombian, uh, Brazilian, Jamaica, uh, I said Jamaica, all over. There are good tatas here also that learned or and are learning from some good houses, some good Enzo, some good Tata, some good Yayas, because remember, like I would say, it's a lineage. So there are some here also. So you don't have to go to Cuba to find yourself a good Tata and a good Yaya. Sometimes you just have to do your due diligence and looking for somebody and do not judge a person by his nationality, by his culture, by his color. Don't judge people like that. In Palo, you don't judge people like that. In Santeria, you don't judge people like that. In Ocha, you don't judge people like that. It's not the color or the nationality that makes a good priest. It's who taught him his humbleness, his knowledge, his patience in teaching, um, his, of course, his, um, his uh, 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 lineage of who he came from and who taught him and who taught the other. And, and if they are following and teaching him for the right reason and the right cause and all that, you know, it sometimes bothers me when people look at 
uh, the tradition in this manner and uh, they stereotype or assume that if you're not from Cuba then your Orishas or your Nganga or your priesthood it's underneath the only thing that could be more and less more or less is the knowing the practice having a good foundation being a good priest um being steadfast in what you do, having moral convictions, values. So it makes a good priest and more. No matter what nationality uh, they are. Like I said, if you would like to go to Cuba and get yourself scratched, it's fine. It's great. There are plenty of good and gangoleros in Cuba. Plenty. And Santeros too. And Espirititas also. But that doesn't take that here in the United States. And in other countries. That doesn't mean there are not good. Santeros, Tatas and Espirititas also. You understand? I would myself look for a Tata. That is closer to me. You know, even if I have to drive two or three hours to get there I would because still it, it's closer than going to Puerto Rico closer than going to Mexico closer than going to Colombia, Venezuela, Cuba it's closer for me um, I have traveled as far as Florida by plane multiple times because it's still closer to me um my advice is to find somebody closer to you. If you are uh, of the type that wants to learn and likes your tradition or loves the tradition and what you do, then look for somebody that's closer to you because you'll benefit more and greatly having that person close to you. Uh, the reason why I made the video is because there was a comment sent about Cubans being better paleros than anyone else and I do understand that the tradition was formed in Cuba by the Cubans and uh, and through history, it has been known that great paleros come from Cuba. But that doesn't mean that just because they come from Cuba, those paleros never traveled and never taught other people. They kept on their same teachings and same understandings and kept that that uh, tradition ongoing in their culture or in their island, meaning in your, in your culture, your island, if he was taught um, by somebody. Uh, nothing much to say today, guys. Uh, kind of kind of tired and sleep too good last night, but uh, that's the name of the game. Uh, I didn't want to make a video on it, but I said, eh, I thought about it till now. I've been thinking about it since seven o'clock this morning. And I wasn't gonna make any video on it because I don't want anybody to take it out of out of context. Um, I love all people, all nationalities, all creed. I, I don't have no problem. You respect me, I respect you. If you love me, I love you. And if you don't love me, I still love you. <laughs> Salam alaikum, guys. Be safe. Have a great day. Uh, what was it? today? Thursday, is it? Yeah, mañana viernes, viernes social. Party hardy, feeling all right. That's for tomorrow, not today.
Have a good day, guys.